Hi, good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get rid of some of the stuff that you don't need uh, once you uh, buy a computer, uh, PC a, with uh, Windows 11 installed on it. So I'm just going to walk you quickly through some of the things you're going to see at the very beginning when you open the computer and you start and you know open it up and uh, register the first time. Uh, and you get to this uh, window here, to the main uh, screen uh, desktop. So uh, below here, you have a few icons, which I will show you uh, later. Um, I have another video in which I provide uh, a little bit more detail on this. You can look it up in my channel. Um, but today, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna show you a, a couple of things here that show up on this here. If you click on this little um, uh, arrow up. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what they are. Uh, this one is the USB. I have an USB attached to it. So I'm just going to get rid of it. So I'm just going to click uh, eject it. And as you can see, it disappeared. Um, the most important of these uh, icons here is this one, which relates to Windows security actions uh, that are recommended. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to walk you through each and every one of them. So whatever has a yellow uh, uh, triangle on top of them, it, they need to be addressed. So in this case, in this particular case here, it's telling me that I need to set up OneDrive so I don't lose my files, blah, blah, blah. I do not need OneDrive installed on this computer. I have a license for OneDrive, but I don't need it installed here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on dismiss. It's going to take a little bit of time, but eventually this uh, little uh, triangle, yellow triangle will disappear. Now, this one is important because it has to do with the browser and how it's controlled. There's a lot of uh, application, the website out there that are um, uh, compromised because either they have uh, uh, malware, uh, they have viruses or any, you know, any other uh, malware that can affect your computer. So uh, the browser will actually tell you when that happens and unwanted applications are going to be turned off. They're not going to be able to use them here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So that's about it. I think let me just double check. Yeah, there's no more. So make sure that you always have uh, this um, uh, this uh, little icon here with the little shield, which means uh, with a with a with a check with a green check mark on top of it. Make sure it always uh, stays like that. Secondly, um, if you uh, bought this computer recently, one of the things that's going to happen to you is the OneDrive icon is going to show there. I do have a video that's showing how to get rid of that, but quickly I'm just going to walk you through it. Uh, I'm going to right click on it. I'm just going to move these uh, uh, for some reason it's going somewhere else. So I'm just going to right click on it. Right. Okay. Right click on it. And first go to settings uh, here in the settings. Make sure you unchecked all this. You don't need any of that. If you're not going to use OneDrive, of course, uh, click OK and then click here again. Uh, right click on the same icon and then close OneDrive. All right. So close OneDrive and that's the end of it. All right. So um, also to make sure OneDrive doesn't doesn't show up here the next time you review your machine, uh, right click and go to taskbar. And here on the um, on the uh, taskbar corner uh, overview, overflow, sorry, task, taskbar corner overflow, you'll see here uh, OneDrive, it's, it's off. So I just keep it that way, all right? So it is off. Okay, and uh, that's about it. Um, well, Team Viewer, I need it there. Uh, this one is Bluetooth device when they connect to the computer. Uh, the other things that I actually do, I just get rid of this icon here, Microsoft Store. You know, you don't need it uh, by removing it by unpinging it from the uh, from the from from this taskbar. It doesn't mean you're gonna get rid of it. Uh, it means that you don't want it there. You don't want to look at it all the time. Now, the other things uh, with regards to this uh, this item here. Um, for example, you have uh, this one, the chat, which is MS Team chat that uh, Microsoft introduced it. I mean, uh, it's inst uh, uh, install it with the Windows 11 is part of it. Now, uh, when you right click on it, if you want to get rid of that icon, just come here. It's a widget. Just remove it uh, here, the widget. If you don't want the widget, uh, what is the widget? Okay, uh, I'm just going to click on it and show you. Uh, you need to sign in, of course, to a Microsoft account. Uh, blah blah blah. Let me see what it says. Yeah, it's gonna tell you. Uh, you know, it's gonna. You have if you have a Microsoft account, you're gonna have to uh, log into it to see the widget. The widgets are usually, you know, time, 
uh, news, et cetera, et cetera. I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in any of those, so I'm just gonna get rid of it here. Uh, this one here is the task view. I usually don't do it like that, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Again, if you wanna get back to them, all you have to do is, you know, reselect it and it's gonna get back to, to it. And lastly, uh, what I usually do uh, when I start in a machine the first time, I usually go on upgrade, update settings. Uh, it's always set to update. Uh, just it says here that I checked today at 1:20 p.m. So make sure your computer is always updated. Uh, that's about it for this. If you like it, please uh, you know give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have yourself a great day.